Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? All right, today we're going to be talking about the update of virtual desktop as it's been a little while since version 1.10.0. Today we're going to be talking about 1.14.2. Let's go! So for those who are not familiar with virtual desktop, it's an amazing piece of technology that enables you to stream anything from your PC remotely inside your Oculus Quest. So you can choose to be in a virtual cinema or virtual room and stream anything whatsoever from your PC or also stream any of your Oculus games or Steam games directly in your Oculus Quest without any wires. Since the previous video, which I'll put in the description below the like button, there's actually been some changes in terms of how to install virtual desktop on the Oculus Quest. So to get virtual desktop working on your Oculus Quest, first thing you need to do is go to the Oculus Quest store and purchase virtual desktop from the Oculus Quest store. That's number one. Number two, all you have to do is go to the virtualdesktop.com's website and download the free app launcher from their website. Then step three, all you have to do is go to the oculus.com's website and register for a developer's account. And then finally, step four, go to sidequest.com's website and basically download the SideQuest software, unzip everything on your, on your computer as well. It only take a few minutes and then boom, you're done for that. Then step five, go into SideQuest and you'll see you have to search for virtual desktop in the search bar. And then once you click and open the virtual desktops page, click on latest install. Now what that's going to do is that it's going to patch your Oculus Quest with the patch from the SideQuest. You only have to do this once. You're never going to have to do it again. Oh, and by the way, before you open SideQuest, just make sure that your Oculus Quest is, of course, plugged into your computer using a USB 2.0 is absolutely fine. Then once the patch has been installed inside of SideQuest, generally it will let you know through a little notification like a green bar. Then all you have to do is remove the cable from your computer and your Oculus Quest. Turn on your app launcher inside of your PC, the virtual desktop app launcher. Then launch virtual desktop on your Oculus Quest and you'll see it will say connecting to desktop. It will find your desktop and then boom, you're there, you're good to go. Inside of the setup for virtual desktop, you'll see you'll be able to change a whole bunch of settings from the frame rates to the bit rate to all these kind of things, whether you want your microphone to be passed through and all this kind of stuff. So just experiment, see what works best for you. But personally for me, by the way, I have a Cat8 cable, which is the monsters of ore cables. And when I'm not next to the router, that means when I have a wall in between the router and the Oculus Quest itself, and I have the door closed also in between, I generally have quite a lot of lagging. So in order for virtual desktop for me to work really, really well, I actually have to be placed about one or two meters away from the router with no wall and no doors in between. If you look at all the previous videos that I've done comparing Oculus Link with virtual desktop, you'll notice that virtual desktop, the colors are quite different from Oculus Link and also the picture quality will generally be a bit more sharper. Now, depending on the VR experience that you're using, it can be a good thing or a bad thing because sometimes the Oculus Link is a bit too soft, uh, but sometimes the VR experience is too sharp. So when you add even more sharpness, what's gonna happen is the edges will become a little bit more jaggered. Now, virtual desktop's performance is gonna depend varying on which country you're in and also what kind of router you've purchased and of course, if there are tons of other people using the internet at the same time as you. For example, uh, on weekends, generally I have more stutter and more lagging than I would do during a weekday in the middle of the day. So all these kind of things will play, but there will also be other noticeable differences using virtual desktop versus Oculus Link. For example, because of course, some of, or well, a lot of the information is gonna be compressed back into the headset through the internet. So you will have some losses of, for example, well, as I mentioned, anti-aliasing, but also volumetrics like fog, all these kind of special effects, um, things like glowing effects, you know, shadows might not be as, you know, nicely blurry. They might be a little bit sharper or they might not be, uh, they might be darker as opposed to the natural gray color that you would get from a PC or gradient black to gray, for example, you know, all these kind of things. So. And also, for example, if you use VR chats, then you might not also be able to enter 
all the PC worlds that you will be able to when you're using the Oculus Link. So there will definitely be some limitations, but already it'll be so much better than purely using the Oculus Quest itself for sure. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. Remember to hit the like and subscribe. Share some love so that you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in virtual reality. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away.